So I got to this part of the book, and I'm just like reading, and I'm like, damn, it's uh, 40 Laws of Power. The chapter I'm on is be royal in your own fashion, act like a king to be treated like one. So I usually kind of always abide by that. I like to always carry myself in a nice way. But I was reading this, right? And I don't know, it was just very interesting image. The crown, place it upon your head and you assume a different pose. Tranquil yet radiating assurance or assurance, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Never show doubt, never lose your dignity beneath the crown or it will not fit. It will seem to be destined for one more worthy. Do not wait for coronation. The greatest emperors crown themselves. And that just had me sitting here thinking because I'm just like, damn. I always think, I always try to like, you know, carry myself in the highest position with the respect of other people. So like, I've seen one example, uh, it was about someone talking about a watch. It was some watch and it was on YouTube shorts. You might've seen it. And the guy says he only wears it when he goes out to like special occasions to try to attract attention, but not attention to be like, that's a fancy watch. But for somebody that knows watches, like if they, you know, if that's something that they're really interested in, they would see that watch. And then if they know about it, they will then approach him and then talk to him about the watch. And that can help him meet new people because usually people that tend to know about expensive watches, they either collect them as a hobby themselves because they have the money or they just like the they just like watches and they, they just learn about it because that way when they get in the position to own the watches, they know the watches to collect because they know which ones actually have value. So it sometimes does pay off to have certain nice things to give the visual to certain people that okay this person has this let's see if they have what it takes to back it up because just because you have something nice doesn't mean you know what the fuck it is that you're talking about or that you have whatever it is to back up whatever they have nice however certain times it pays off another example would be in 50 cents book he talks about how the car that he had it wasn't popular at the time i forget what car was some really nice car and it wasn't popular in new york at the time he was one of the very few people that had it and one day he drove the car to a function and one of the guys at the function ran up to the car because he thought it was his buddy because he knew his buddy had that car. And I guess this guy was a pretty wealthy guy. So he goes up to the car joking around, thinking that he's talking to his buddy. But then when 50 gets out of the car, he's like, oh, snap, my fault. I didn't know that was you or whatever. You know, my friend has that same car. But it's interesting because this car is rare. Not a lot of people have this car. So then it opened up conversation. And then 50 and that guy became good friends and ended up doing business together. So sometimes it pays off to have certain nice things that you genuinely like though not have something just to impress other people maybe i should maybe i should say that but to have something that you like that you're genuinely interested in that you have that way one day if you know about it you can open up conversation because that person might know about it too and next thing you know you might be able to work something out so it pays off and and reading this chapter in this book that's basically what it tells you Right? Be royal in your own fashion. Act like a king to be treated like one. The way you carry yourself will often determine how you are treated in the long run. Appearing vulgar or common will make people disrespect you. For a king respects himself and inspires the same sentiment in others. By acting regally and confident in your powers, you make yourself seem destined to wear a crown. Like, let's be real here. That is, like, the goal, ain't it? So just remember, it, it is always in how you carry yourself. You walk around, like the book says, always looking common and, and sluggish. And like you just don't keep any upkeep or anything. You're never going to garner any attention at all. You don't always have to have the nicest things to get attention. Not, that's not what's being said either. But it's all about the aura that you give yourself and the way you carry yourself that's going to make the most. I thought that this is a very good chapter to read on a birthday. So... 24th birthday read the 34th law I read two chapters actually but what did we learn act like a king to be treated like one you'll get pretty far in life if you like the video leave a like if you dislike to drop a dislike uh check out the links in the description below there's the free one-on-one -on -one coaching uh i gotta go back inside Just get ready for my birthday go decorate go eat uh yeah no nah, thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you in another video on a later date uh, enjoy yourself. Stay safe. Peace out.